A truly outstanding stallion will produce 4 to 8 percent stakes horses to runners. Then there is jet bone. One bowl, one runner, one winner, one multiple stakes winner and probable champion. By renowned sprinter and champion sire Bone Trick, Jet Bone is out of a stakes place daughter of leading broodmare sire Aladar, whose dam was champion three year old filly Cadiz. She is also half sister to five stakes horses, including champion Hishi Amazon and What Katie Did, dam of champion sprinter Sleepless Night. An extremely talented and precocious racehorse, Jet Bone broke his maiden as a two year old at first asking in allowance competition. Second, but Jet Bone kicks it in. And Jet Bone opens up two now at the top of the lane. Then it's back to Isn't It Rich. Time going to have to really fly on the outside. They pass the eighth pole, and Jet Bone is strong to the wire. It's all Jet Bone drawing away by three lengths. Then it's wise to run. Time and Isn't It Rich. But Jet Bone scores here. Jet Bone easily by three and a half lengths. Jet Bone was retired to his place of birth, Valor Farm. And that is where this Cinderella story really begins. And from the day he was foaled, I mean, when he, when he stood up, he looked like phone trick, a little shrunken down phone trick. And he just never had a bad day. He looked grand all, his whole life. He sprinted mainly and, and uh, won races at Lone Star and Remington. And, but it was really fast. Would go to the front every out, same thing, run 21 and change quarters and so forth. And he ended up bowing, and we liked him so much that we thought, well, we finally got everything figured out now, and now he's bowed. So we split the, did that deal where you split the tendon. And he actually came back and won a race after that, and then I think the second race back, then he went ahead and was done. And so we liked him so much, and he was so grand that we just, we hated it. Clarence didn't want to get rid of him, so we teased with him and all that and kept him around. We brought our quarter horse mares to him. We bred the odd thoroughbred. We bred a thoroughbred mare one year, uh, and she didn't. She had a dead foal or something. Well, anyway, the Dodwells that broke him as a as a yearling it wanted to to uh, breed to him, so they bring one mare over here, and they get this thing, aces and kings. His only runner, his only thoroughbred runner, and he's won now. He's won four of four. He won broke his maiden at Lone Star. He won, won his trial for the sale futurity. He won the sale futurity, then he won the, I think, the minstrel stake and another stake. And uh, interestingly, all the ones around here were four, four and a half and five furlongs. And then the last race in, at Louisiana Downs, they ran him a mile on the turf and he won. That's his best race. He just galloped and won. So, I mean, he's extremely versatile. Um, uh, he'll, uh, unless something remarkable happens, he'll be champion two-year-old in Texas this year. But, I mean, from, from, from one runner. So, I mean, it's a neat story. They always talk about, you know, who you're teasing with this year and all that stuff, you know. But it's, it's been a neat story, but he's, he's grand looking, he's kind. I mean, he's just a nice horse. And so we'll, we'll stand him to the public this year and hopefully we'll get a lot of mares to him. Never given a real opportunity to become a sire, Jetbone has achieved the impossible. From only one foal, Jetbone has sired the multiple stakes winning Aces and Kings. Race down for the top of the stretch, and here's Aces and Kings. And Aces and Kings now lengthening his drive, goes on from Evil Officer, running a good second. But Aces and Kings now takes command past the eighth pole, and he's coming well clear now. Uh, Evil Officer running very well for second, the rest are far back. But Aces and Kings delivering on all his promise. And Aces and Kings, perhaps a future good one, looking very good here. But he's fighting back at the rail, and Aces and Kings is back in front. Blaster took a try, but he tired. And a late run there from Tamtastic for the Exacta. Aces and Kings, Tamtastic finishing very well for next time. But today it's Aces and Kings. Plenty of promise. Tam Aces and Kings quickly comes up now to spike the front. An eighth of a mile to go. Aces and Kings is now coming on there to go clear. Late bid from Jazz Party out of the pack. Tamtastic is now second. It's Aces and Kings. Oh, now he's getting tired. Tamtastic and Jazz Party. Aces and Kings, Tamtastic. Here's the finish, it's Aces and Kings holding on by a neck. It's on the outside of Aces and Kings, and these two go right by the eighth pole together. Aces and Kings digs in though. Aces and Kings digs in and turns back Brian's choice. Aces and Kings, sharp effort. Wins by two and a half over top Brian. of the stretch, and Aces and Kings has kicked away. Kicked away to lead by three lengths with a furlong to go. 
Dreams Run Wild with Claire Sailing second on the inside. Keep on smoking and land in Paul. 16th out, Aces and Kings. Aces and Kings, impressively. Wins by five at the finish, maybe a bit more than that. Jet phone, bred to be a sire and proving it in a big way.